<laughs> Hi there. Happy Wednesday. You guys, I have to say the attention to detail here at Luigi's is unmatched. I had about a half of this plate of the fried artichokes. It's already replenished. It's already steaming and delicious. Look at all this fabulous food. We've got incredible wine to go with it. I have Julius Angelini from Angelini Wines with me, a very familiar and tanned face yeah. since coming back from the Cape. How was vacation? Oh, phenomenal. How bad can vacation be? Uh, never, <laughs> never bad when it's with you and your gorgeous yeah. family. We have some incredible wine to share. We've already tried that Savvy Bee from New Z and then what was the, the Angelini Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Yeah. So good. We've got another couple to try though. What so do we have gonna, here? We're going to do a Montepulciano from Abruzzo. It's a classic. Obviously everybody knows Montepulciano because it grows everywhere in Abruzzo. But this is a little bit of a higher end. It comes from actually, it's in a national park. It's the only winery that's in a national oh, park fine. because the winery was there before they made it a national park. Okay. So they only can do... So they're, we're kicking everybody out but the winery can set. set. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so it's just, it's a delightful it's one of the best multiple chans I've had uh, mm -hmm. it, it just it's just a nice great with all the uh, with especially with these kinds of dishes it's just okay perfect. I want to try that is this this is this one yeah. okay yeah. Nice, Ooh. nice combination you're tasting yeah. a little bit the uh, raspberries the dark that's a sneaky one berries. I could have several glasses yeah. and think that I'm okay <laughs> and I'm not Surprise, surprise. That is so delicious. I love that. It's very light, but I feel like it could stand up to some, you know, like something like the artichokes oh, or like, yeah. It'll go perfectly Everything. because it's still got some body, some tannins. Yeah. Um, and, but it's not overly, it's not a huge wine. Yes. So it's a perfect I like that. Yeah. And then this is something that I've never tried yeah, so before. I this. So uh, we just came back from, uh, from Italy with uh, my brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess they never, in Italy, after a meal. Yep. You always have a digestivo, mm -hmm. which is a bitter. So it's made with herbs from the different places. So if you northern Italy is different than Sicily, let's say. Okay. And but it, what's meant to do is to help the digestion, which mm -hmm. is digestivo, and they're all bitters. So this one here is from um, Campania. So this is just uh, where limoncello is made. Okay. The Russo. Well, I've had I've had limoncello. I've yeah. had uzu when I went to Greece. But this so this totally is different. so okay. Totally different. It's totally different. Totally different. It's almost uh, well. You try it. Okay. I'm nervous. It smells good. It smells like chai almost. Oh, I really like that. But after a meal, a digestivo. It warms you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling the breeze and yeah, not anymore. <laughs> this is, whoa, that's incredible. But I like it because I feel like sometimes the things that you kind of like shoot after dinner yeah, are a little bit more intense. This yeah. I feel like is a little want, bit yeah, smoother. Grappa. Exactly, yeah, no. I grappa. But the key here is that really it helps after you have a big meal, even a light meal, right. and it tastes different after you have the meal versus the way you're drinking it basically okay. now. Is it okay if I have it mid-meal? Because I'm definitely going to dig yes. into more of these incredible of dishes. Yes. Okay, I love that. <laughs> so what would you recommend to have this after really any any meal or specifically meal. Italian? No, or any okay. meal. It really is amazing. So there's all different kinds. Uh, you know, the, the famous one is for Ned Branca, which is very medicinal. Okay. Jägermeister is actually digestivo. No. <laughs> so. I just got back from Ireland. I love <laughs> Had too much of that there. So that's that's the same thing. It's all bitters. I think originally made by the monks, you know, the different areas. So okay. this it's just herbs infused with alcohol. Okay. And depending on where you come from, they have different things. But the key is all bitters, like uh, even the bitter, the Agostera, Agostera yeah. bitters. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of concept. But it's amazing how much it helps with digestion. So don't do like a grappa or even like a whiskey or, yeah, or Bailey's like that, that or things. Yeah, that kind of upset your stomach a little bit. This, this really just melts everything away. So I you really can keep like, on I, I feel better already. I can run a marathon right now, you guys, because of this digestive. All yeah. right, so tell me, we are, you know, we're not rushing time. We still have some of that sweet summer left here in August, but then we are transitioning into the fall. If you're kind of looking at your wine rack thinking, all right, what's a good transitional couple of bottles? What would you suggest for somebody when the kind of weather yeah. drops down a little bit and gets well, cooler? Well, to me, uh, rosés are perfect because even September, things are still warm. Yeah. So, you know, I, and I hate to just, you know, say goodbye to summertime. I know, and everybody so you want to, you know. summer and yeah. it's lasting longer. Uh, yeah. But really, I think, uh, you yeah, know, it really, it's a personal thing. So I think depending on the time of day, depending on, you know, time of year and all that kind of stuff. So whatever, whatever it is. But yeah. I always like, to me, it's always a lighter wine and uh, whether white or red. 
and it just because it's just easier to drink and it's not as complicated. Let's make things less complicated. Yes. You know, if we have a great meal it. with a you know filet mignon and we want to have a big burgundy on it, go for it. I love but, it. But you know, why not just enjoy a, a nice little bottle of wine? Fantastic. <laughs> I do have to call in Sarah right now, our friend, because it's her birthday. It's a Wine Wednesday celebration. Cheers to good friend to excellent food here at Luigi's in Old Saybrook. Thank you so much, Julius from Angelini Wines. And we've got Len and his fabulous stuff. We're going to pan over. Look alive, guys. There we are. Yay. A family celebration. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks. Cheers back to you. All right. Cheers and happy birthday, Sarah, from us here as well. Enjoy, guys. That looks great, it does doesn't look it? Great. It's a nice day to be outside. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, speaking of being outside or maybe inside,